Mirror Maker 2 is the only open source option that we'll discuss today. So if your goal is to run Kafka and stick with open source products, Mirror Maker 2 is your only choice. There are several benefits to using Mirror Maker 2. First, Mirror Maker 2 leverages the Kafka Connect framework and ecosystem. It includes both source and sync connectors. It automatically detects topics and partitions. Automatically syncs topic configurations between clusters. Manages downstream topic ACLs. It supports active-active cluster pairs and any number of active clusters. It supports cross data center replication, aggregation, and other complex topologies, as we discussed earlier in the course. It provides metrics, including end-to-end -end replication latency across multiple data centers and clusters. And Mirror Maker 2 supports virtually all consumer types for consumer offset sync. However, there are also a few considerations that we need to keep in mind when selecting Mirror Maker 2. While Mirror Maker 2 exposes both JMX and the standard Kafka Connect metrics, it doesn't expose replication lag or throughput. These must be derived by the operator through custom tooling. While Mirror Maker 2 will automatically sync your offsets, you will still need to configure a system to translate those offsets. Offset translation is still required. There's limited documentation for monitoring, tuning, and securing your Mirror Maker 2 configuration. When we talk about failover logic, or what happens when your cluster goes down, this is application specific and can be time consuming and labor intensive to set up and maintain. Any changes you make to Mirror Maker 2 must be made on the properties file for each instance and requires a restart of the connect cluster. If you plan on scaling your clusters or replicating to new instances, there's a significant amount of overhead as each Mirror Maker 2 instance requires four internal connectors and three internal topics on your Kafka cluster and each destination cluster needs to have its own Mirror Maker 2 connector. While we covered the replication patterns in an earlier module, there are a couple of considerations you should keep in mind when it comes to scaling your Mirror Maker 2 clusters. For each target, you will need to configure a Mirror Maker 2 connect cluster. So that means if you have two Kafka clusters, you will only need one Mirror Maker 2 connect cluster located on the target. If you decide to scale your architecture to have one source and two targets or destinations, you'll need two Mirror Maker 2 clusters. This is also true if you are looking to have a bi-directional flow with each cluster replicating each other. You will need to have a Mirror Maker 2 cluster for each, as each serves as a destination cluster. No matter the size of your cluster, you will need a Mirror Maker 2 Connect cluster for each destination. This, combined with each Mirror Maker 2 instance requiring four connectors and three internal topics, can create a significant amount of overhead and cost to your Kafka clusters. Mirror Maker 2 is a great open source solution to configure your hybrid cloud architecture. However, as mentioned earlier in this module, it has some significant considerations that need to be addressed and manually configured for your solution to be robust and trustworthy. The official Apache documentation has more details on how to configure Mirror Maker 2. I also suggest sticking around and completing the Mirror Maker 2 hands-on module later in the course. The biggest difficulty in working with Mirror Maker 2 is the lack of official documentation and support. I don't want to downplay the amount of time and effort it can take to set up and maintain a Mirror Maker 2 instance on top of the ongoing maintenance of Kafka. While there's some documentation out there, in most cases, you'll be on your own to troubleshoot and configure. I highly recommend you try out and test Mirror Maker 2 in your current setup before trying to scale it up or build your entire architecture on top of it. Part of my reasoning is the additional overhead of having to set up and configure a separate instance of the Mirror Maker 2 Connect cluster for each destination cluster. In the end, Mirror Maker 2 is a great solution for replication if you're willing to devote the teams and resources to the configuration and management of the architecture. If you aren't already on Confluent Developer, head there now using the link in the video description to access the rest of this course, the hands-on exercises, and additional resources.